In this tutorial I will use Evolute Tools for Rhino to panelize a freeform surface into a really fancy hexagonal pattern. I will only use the base version so you will notice there are some buttons missing here. Let's load the ET cube. I will just hide the surfaces I don't need. And we are ready to start the creation of the course mesh. I will go really quick with it because you have seen how it works in the previous videos. Before subdividing this course mesh, I will fix some vertices and set them as corners as well. And we are ready to subdivide. I will use Catmull Clark a few times just to get some starting density. I can delete the course mesh now. I will want to subdivide this quad mesh into a triangle mesh but I need to make sure these quads have a better aspect ratio, something closer to 1 and I will do a few loop cuts there maybe a few more I can set my reference surface and I can hide it just so we can see what's happening with the subdivided mesh Let's have a look at the optimization parameters. We have surface closeness and curve closeness and everything else is set to zero. You notice that there are a lot less parameters now and this is because we, we are using the base version. I'll just ramp up fairness curvature just a bit and let's optimize and see what happens. I'll just do a few more steps and I'm still not happy with the aspect ratio of these quads here I will do a few more loop cuts I just did a few vertical ones, it doesn't matter now let's optimize again and at this point I can subdivide with a diagonalize algorithm and just delete the parent. Now in order to get triangles from this mesh I will just add parallel diagonal lines with no interval. It looks good. Okay now a very important trick in order to get nice and uniform and balanced hexagonal meshes is to optimize this triangular mesh in order to get all the in-circles for all these triangular faces touch each other and just to be tangent to each other in order to do that we will have a look at the optimization parameters and we will ramp up ball packing and the ball packing optimization will make sure that all the in-circles for these triangles are tangent to each other uh, let's just go to fairness curvature to zero because this is a special condition we have to have just surface closeness, curve closeness and ball packing to one and let's start to optimize we can do a few more steps and there are no more changes done to the mesh we are now ready to subdivide this triangular mesh into a hexagonal mesh. Let's just select the mesh, go to subdivide and choose dual with boundary and just delete the parent so this is our hex mesh and it presents itself really nice and balanced and uniform if we didn't optimize for ball packing all these hexagons here will be 
pretty distorted. So that is why we optimize for ball packing. I will quickly show you one more useful trick. We just went backwards one step to our triangular mesh and the ball packing optimization will make sure that all the in-circles of all these triangles are touching each other and are tangent to each other. And we can extract all those in-circles and the corresponding spheres. So let me show you how it works. We just select the mesh and run a command and we wait. This is it. Keep in mind we can also extract just the in circles. So this may prove useful for your projects. Thanks for watching.